Welcome to Top Linux Tech. Today we are going to address the issue with the H.264 codec on the free version of DaVinci Resolve under Linux. So we decided to go with DaVinci Resolve as your new video editing software, but soon you found that you were unable to import or export an MP4 video encoded with the H.264 video codec especially those videos that you have captured with OBS Studio, for example. The clips that you import into DaVinci Resolve appear as blank, and now you are wondering if there is any workaround or alternative. Well, yes, there is. Actually, there are two alternatives here. The first alternative is to buy the Pro version of DaVinci Resolve that will probably cost you around $300, and you'll simply get the ability to use H.264 out of the box. And the second alternative is to use a workaround which involves an extra step, but in the end you'll be able to produce an MP4 video encoded with H.264. So let me show you the workaround. To be able to use this workaround you will need the FFmpeg package installed on your computer. Now you should check with your distributions package manager and see if it's already installed and if not simply install it manually. Now I think that uh, for all of you that are using Debian based uh, distros like Ubuntu, Linux Mint for example, you can get the FFmpeg codec by simply installing the Ubuntu-Restricted-Extras package if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, just uh, do a search and install it manually. So, what this FFmpeg program will allow you to do is to take an MP4 video file encoded with H.264 and then convert it into a movie file or MOV container encoded with Motion JPEG codec. Now, doing it this way will produce an output video file which will be larger than the original MP4, however, the video quality will be retained. And once the conversion is complete, you'll be able to import the MOV file into DaVinci and then resume your work. When you're done, simply render your video with the Motion JPEG codec again, and then finally simply export it through FFmpeg back into MP4 with the H.264 codec. So let me show you now how to do this inside DaVinci Resolve. So here I am in DaVinci Resolve, the free version, and what you see here is a video that I have recorded with OBS Studio. And if I simply try to import now the clip, well, nothing happens. It's blank. So let's switch to the terminal, and let's use the FFmpeg program to convert this MP4 into MOV encoded with Motion JPEG. And here is the raw footage that I have. And now, simply, I will paste the ffmpeg command into the terminal window. And by the way, I will uh, simply leave all of these commands in the video description down below, so you can also use them as well. So what you want to do is uh, use ffmpeg-i for import, and then you simply import your mp4 video file. And here we set the video codec to be motion jpeg and then we set the quality levels and trust me these quality levels will work best also for the audio we will export the audio into pcm 16 bits and this works perfectly if you want to upload your videos on youtube or do whatever so these settings will work perfectly fine and finally the output file will be MOV container, and here we simply specify the file name that we want to export with the .mov extension, and simply press enter. Now, as you can see, we have exported this 16 megabytes video file into an MOV that takes 662 megabytes. That's large. But nothing to worry about because when you convert it back into mp4 it, the size will be significantly reduced 
So let's now import this MOV file into DaVinci. And you see immediately that now the file is available for import. So let's add it. And now you might be asked to use a different frame rate than the current project settings. Now the project settings in my DaVinci Resolve is set to 30 FPS because I want to simply reduce the output file size. This video, however, is recorded in 60 FPS through OBS Studio. And now I have the option whether I want to use 30 or 60 FPS. So I'm going to click here, don't change, because I'm going to use uh, 30 FPS at the moment. So let's switch to the Edit tab here and simply drag the clip down onto the timeline. So from here, you simply do all of your video editing. Uh, you do your cuts and effects, and maybe you add transitions or whatever. Maybe you'll also add some color correction to the video. Maybe, for example, you'd like to tweak the gamma a little bit and the gain. And when you are finally done with your editing, you simply go to the Deliver tab, and now we are ready to produce our video. So here at the render settings, there are already available options that you can choose from. But in this case, we'll go with custom. And for the video settings, make sure that the export video checkbox is ticked. And then for the format, simply choose QuickTime. For the codec settings, we use Photo JPEG. Here we set our resolution. My clip is recorded in 1080p, and I'll leave the frame rate to 24. And here in the advanced settings, make sure that you tick this checkbox where it says force sizing to highest quality. Now this may or may not improve the quality of the video, but it is recommended that you enable this option. So next, for the audio settings, also make sure that the export audio is ticked and for the codec just leave the settings as they are so we're going to use a linear pcm and 16 bits and finally for the file we choose our file name and the destination so here i'm simply going to name my video file final underscore cut i'll choose the location Add the file to rendering queue and then simply press start render. And there we go. So let's switch back to our terminal now. Let's now switch into the directory where we save the file. And let's also list the contents. And now we see that here is our final cut video and it's currently 377 megabytes so let's now convert this video back into mp4 and with the h264 codec so let's use the ffmpeg command again and by the way as i said before i'll leave the commands uh, in the video description down below so let's paste that so here we have the final cut as the input file and for the video codec, we are using the H.264. We use the ultra fast preset, unless you want to over compress the video and that might actually mess up the quality a little bit. So I recommend that you go with the ultra fast preset and the output file, I'll simply name it finalvideo.mp4. So press enter. Now, let's see what we have. And the final video is about 60 megabytes. So yes, even though you are using this workaround, it will still in the end produce a little bit a larger file. But I suppose that's nothing to worry about considering that the final product is a video encoded with the H.264 without sacrificing quality. And I really hope this works for you as well. It does work for me, definitely. This is exactly how I'm uh, producing my YouTube videos at the moment. So let's just open the video file right now.
Now when I press Ctrl and J, you see that the codec is H.264 and the audio has been converted back to AAC, MP4A. So yeah, that is how you use uh, H.264 with DaVinci Resolve if you have the free version, unfortunately. I hope it works for you. And if it doesn't, well, you are free to choose another video editor of your choice. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, share, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.